G and Loud. What's going on through into supercars? My name is Mike and welcome back to their brand new video. Right now we're on the way from one Home Depot that we just left to another Home Depot. I actually went to the wrong one, unfortunately. But we have to return a drill here because my girlfriend and I just moved into a brand new place here in Phoenix. And while well, we got a drill that didn't work out very well, but fear not, we were able to hang up everything. Actually, we're gonna have a full apartment tour video coming up here in the next few days. But today's video, as the title suggests, is going to be the spec of our new Gunther Works Tornado Turbo. This Gunther Works Tornado Turbo is, number one, just the most insane car coming to our collection. Uh, they're building 75 of them. They're gonna be full commission builds. Um, and basically, it is a 993 Turbo reimagined but essentially in a GT2 RS form. Like if there was a 993 GT2 RS, this is what the car would be, at least in my opinion. And I think Mr. JW Debbie was the same as well. This car is going to honor our family and kind of our heritage to get to the United States and be able to be in a position to get one of these cars. And it really honors our Ukrainian roots. We're actually gonna be having this car honor the Ukrainian mythical fighter jet pilot, the Ghost of Kiev. Now, the Ghost of Kiev, if you guys are not familiar with or haven't been following you know, global events, there is a major war right now in Ukraine with Russia. It's been going on since February, or early February of 2022. Uh, and unfortunately, there's been just so much bloodshed with just so much unnecessary conflict. I read yesterday that a Russian missile attacked a Ukrainian passenger train on Independence Day and killed, I think, dozens of people. It's just incredible. Um, we still have a lot of family ties back to Ukraine with a lot of our family um, having summer homes there. My actual grandfather, who unfortunately passed away, his cousin is a heart surgeon there with the war and everything going on. And it really does suck. I was actually planning on visiting Ukraine this past summer, but unfortunately I wasn't able to with the current war going on. I definitely want to go back though and I want to just see Ukraine and see what's been going on there. It's really sad to see such a devastating war taking place, especially with the memories that I haven't made there yet from my, my family. And what I mean by that is I just haven't been able to go to Ukraine and see where my grandfather grew up and things that were very sacred to my grandparents. And I feel like as I watch the war there, I'm losing a part of like my family with every day and, and, and fighting. And I don't know if that's just an, an odd way of looking at it, but I just feel like a piece of me is missing if I, I don't get to go there and, and explore where my grandfather you know, grew up with my grandmother. Now my grandfather and grandmother came to the United States with literally nothing, basically the shirt on their back. My grandfather and grandmother both worked multiple jobs um, to really put their feet on the ground. My grandfather um, tutored his peers in chemistry as he put himself through college at Roosevelt University. He always wanted to be a doctor so badly, but he didn't have the means to do it. And actually, that's probably one of the main driving factors for me becoming a doctor. And of course, my, my dad becoming a doctor was that just my grandfather wasn't able to do it. He didn't have the financial means. My grandfather also was a janitor. He also did other odd jobs. And he was working up to three jobs at a time to really support my grandmother and my father, and then eventually my aunt. My grandmother did the same. She was a hostess. She also was a cleaner. And just the Ukrainian grit that my grandfather and grandmother showed me and my distant family, like my aunts and uncles and great aunts and uncles, showed me was just incredible. Their spirit and their, their uh, belief in the American dream is something that I want to honor with their Ukrainian roots. And I know my dad does too. So the spec, again, is going to be made based off of that mythical fighter jet called the Ghost of Kiev. And we're going to actually model it after a Ukrainian fighter jet. The Ukrainian fighter jet looks camouflaged with gray, blue, a little bit of dark gray and then some yellow. Then there's some white or kind of gray mixed in. I can't really make out the exact colors. But our spec of this car is gonna be a one-off Nardo gray that we're gonna match exactly to a Ukrainian fighter jet. I believe it's a MiG. Um, I don't know exactly the name though, so I'm not gonna, don't quote me on that. And then we are going to try to have yellow center markers etched into the rear glass of this 993. Now the 993 that the Gunther Works Tornado Turbo is gonna be based off of is going to be a 993C2 donor car that they're gonna completely strip out. And I was fortunate enough to tour Gunther Works' headquarters about two months ago now. And when I mean strip out, I mean there is nothing left besides the shell of the car, which is just insane. But I'm hoping that we're gonna to get to do a full build series and just with Peter and Cecilia and everybody there, they're just incredible and you really feel like you're part of a family. But furthermore, we're gonna do a full baby blue or a light blue interior with yellow accents as well, with yellow trizubes etched into the headrests. 
which I think is going to be the coolest part about the car, aside from the incredible motor and incredible performance figures of this car. 700 horsepower, 2,700 pounds or less. This is really going to be a 993 GT2 RS, as I was saying. You know, to many people, it's just a car, right? My grandfather would always tell me, hey, it gets you from point A to point B. But my grandfather loved motorsports and he loved the amazing technology behind these cars. And just to see that is going to be absolutely incredible. I am just beyond excited to see this car and just see the build process. The first things first though, later this year, we're gonna actually get to get a donor car. We have to find a donor car. Again, a 993C2, I think with 90,000 miles or less, that has not had a rebuilt or salvaged title. So if you know of somebody selling their car that would like to be a donor car, let me know. Then we're gonna go to Gunther Works and make sure the spec is exactly what we want. After we do that, we're gonna start the build process. Now, the build process should hopefully deliver us a car sometime at the end of 2023. So we do have some time to go, but if you think about it, it's already September basically of 2022 so about a year off for one of our dream cars is just incredible I'm very very excited about this not only because I wish my grandfather was alive today to see this you know my grandfather really again was the reason why I became uh, you know why I am becoming a physician you know and the reason why my father became a physician and just the main inspiration behind so many things in my life that I feel like this is the way for me to still stay close to my grandfather uh, even though he's not physically here anymore um, and just to keep his spirit alive is something that's really really important to me so that's what we're going to be doing guys i really cannot wait to show this back to you guys uh, the first gunther works video like i was saying i think in this one i've done a couple takes of this video so i don't know if it's exactly this one but it was just insane it got over like a thousand views in under 24 hours so this car is definitely going to be very special we're definitely going to take it to a lot of shows and like i said there's only going to be 75 of them so it's definitely going to be something that's going to be really really sick thank you guys so much for watching this video I really appreciate it. We have a couple new car reveals coming out in the next couple weeks. We have a G80 M3 that we just sourced for a 312 member that's actually going to be doing a full build on the channel. So you guys can stay tuned for that and an introduction to her. And then we also have an M4 CSL that we're going to be revealing very soon. I actually got a call a couple days ago with my dad that the car should be landing at Port in New Jersey in the next couple days. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. What would you do differently? with the spec would you add any stripes would you do something differently but this thing is going to be incredible and it's just the start of our gunther works collection hopefully we're looking forward to adding a lot more of these cars to our garage because it's what we're passionate about amg bmw rare ferraris rare lamborghinis and of course vintage porsches so i will see you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching by the way we made it right on time too in this whole video i finished uh, right on time. It's kind of weird right as we pull in the parking lot to Home Depot, but also stay tuned for that Stay tuned for that brand new apartment tour video that will be dropping sometime next week um, Or maybe later this weekend. So thank you guys. We'll see you soon